when it comes to representing people, I think it needs to be done with empathy. Yes, the artist is kind of the curator, the artist is a part of that process, but I think you need to, as much as possible, allow those individuals to kind of represent themselves in a way, right? And you're, you're almost like the curator in that sense, as the artist curating, you know, um, their representation as they have a conversation with you about what that looks like for them. Um, so for me, whenever I'm thinking about portraiture, I'm thinking about empathy. When I'm working with the uh, individual, um, it usually takes me a lot of times, like usually like two sittings, having a, a long conversation. Um, but I knew coming out here to LA that I was gonna meet um, Maria and Adria. And, and I knew I needed to kind of like crunch it down but it was still incredibly important for me to understand who they were. And I think the funny thing about that was like, even though it was a short period of time to getting to know them, they really opened up <laughs> like really quickly. Um, and I was just able to, you know, listen. And I think as a, as a person, a lot of times we don't look in the mirror. We don't investigate our stories, investigate ourselves. So I think a lot of people are just waiting to tell their story. Um, so all I, all I really had to do was listen. What I, what I like, you know, for anyone that's, that's looking at the work is for them to find something new, right? Because I, I was thinking about this earlier, about the idea of art or paintings. And um, I'm, not, I'm not trying to teach anybody anything, right? But there are certain stories that are in there for you to find. And then even within those stories or w within whatever narrative that is, there's your story. So hopefully um, uh, people uh, in California can find a part of themselves in the work. And that's, you know, that's always my hope.